What do you suppose this is? I suspect it's alive. Uh, somehow I knew you weren't going to be happy with the hospital food. Oh, look on the bright side. When I'm doubled over with salmonella from tainted eggs, you'll have one more symptom to ignore. Mr. Hoffman, there's nothing wrong with you. You had an MRI with state-of-the-art imaging system and nothing State came State of the art, scans. according to whom? The manufacturing company that rushed it through production and then slapped a sticker on it to stating state of the art to sell more machines? I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> I see. You have a wealth of experience ignoring your patient's symptoms and turning them away without treatment. Your golf game must be excellent by now. Actually, I don't play golf, but there are plenty of patients who need this bed. So I can give you a prescription for your migraine headaches oh, and take away more, the pain. Oh, more aspirin? Will you please explain my situation to this pharmaceutical philistine? Dr. Drake, a consult and only? Enjoy your breakfast. Mm. Oh, well, well. Imagine my surprise when I show up this morning for rounds and Mr. Hoffman's still lying in his bed. Patrick. Robin, there's nothing wrong with the man, so why is he still here? No one's waiting. I checked. And I don't see what is the harm in letting him stay here while we run a few more tests. Well, besides the fact that he doesn't need them, they cost money. He has insurance. Three policies, actually. Do you actually think that I missed something? Or do you identify with our patient there because nobody believes that he's sick? Just like nobody believes that Lisa was messing with you. Meeting shouldn't take long. What's on the agenda is the proposal from radiology for the new ultrasound system and voting to reinstate the employee of the month program. Okay, well, I don't foresee any board member voting against that. Well, I hope not. Morale's been kind of down since the shooting this summer, and the problems between Lisa and Robin haven't helped matters. Yeah, when is Dr. Mal's probation up? At my discretion. I'm actually thinking of extending it as a courtesy to Robin. She just got back to work, and I really think she could use the time to settle in without having to deal with Lisa. <laughs> Dr. Niles has complied with the terms of her probation. She's done a good job down in the ER. Hardly no, seems I gotta keep punishing her. Excuse me. Steve, do you have a minute? Yeah, I hope we have a board meeting to get to. Can I wait? Oh, it's not a big deal. I just wanted to let you know I'm Orderly. keeping Theo for another night. Orderly. We talked about this. If there's nothing wrong with the guy, he needs to be discharged. The point is, Theo thinks something is wrong. I know. Of course Theo thinks something's wrong. The guy's a hypochondriac. Today it's a tumor. Tomorrow it's his tonsils. We can't keep buying into that. I'm just asking for one more night, please. Theo's all alone in the world. Can't we just show him a little bit of compassion? Hello. Are you clean? Excuse me? 90,000 people a year die from infections they pick up in hospital emergency rooms. You are from the ER, are you not? Yes, I'm the attending. I'm the one who you wanted to speak with. So, uh, what is your emergency, Mr. Hoffman? Hoffman? Mm, not that I expect you to remember. Bedside manner seems to be a thing of the past, along with basic human decency. What passes for patient care these days is abhorrent. Um, I'm sorry, why exactly did you want to speak with me? I'm in desperate need of treatment, but the neurosurgeon on staff would rather see me die from a cranial malignancy than to admit he's wrong. I don't see anything in your tests that indicate an anomaly. Are you capable of an original thought, or do you just drone out the same pablum as the rest of the cretins on staff? In case in point, this buffoon who would rather turn me out on the street and treat me for a cranial malignancy, a ticking bomb in my frontal lobe. I see you've met Mr. Hoffman. Mm -hmm. Will you excuse me just for a moment? By all means, congratulate each other on your apathy. I'll just lie here contemplating my looming mortality. Well? If there are no patients in the ER currently waiting on beds, well, then I don't see the harm in allowing Mr. Hoffman to stay just one more night. There's nothing wrong with him. Why do you think Mr. Hoffman makes up all these symptoms? He's lonely. He well, just wants some company. He might have a few more friends if he were nicer to people. He can be nice. He's just a little eccentric. Okay, 
very eccentric, which makes him very misunderstood. All I'm saying is we don't know what Theo's life has been like. So let's not judge him before we know what he's been through. In the meantime, we stand by and watch him judge everybody else, right? Wait, you missed a bump over there. God forbid I should have a smooth ride to the front door where I fully expect to be deposited onto the sidewalk like yesterday's trash. Don't tell me. Ah, empathy and sanity at last. Tell me again why you like this man. Mostly because he gives you a hard time. He's all yours. Take a good look. What? Why? You won't recognize my frozen corpus when it's scooped off the sidewalk after the rats are done with me. No one's dumping you on the sidewalk. We're actually going to keep you for one more night for observation. Run a few more tests, starting with a repeat MRI to see if there's anything we missed on the previous scans. Did I mention I'm also claustrophobic? That infernal machine is like being trapped inside a coffin. Not that I've ever experienced this sensation, but last night I did have this vivid dream about being buried alive, clearly foreshadowing things to come. So what do you think you're doing? Call security. Lisa just stole a bottle of pills from the med cart. 